Welcome back to the talk tonight here. You will remember on Tuesday, Syracuse Mayor Stephanie Miner joined us talking about her stance on some steamy ads trying to get local leaders to condemn a web flyer. It attacks a Western New York senator for his vote to legalize same-sex marriage last year. Michael Benning joins us, as he always does, along with Tom Davey, chairman of the Onondaga County Republicans. Hey, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good to be here. All right. So, um, Tom, you were saying that the mayor was just here to score some cheap political points. So I will turn the table. Uh, you know, what is this all about? Well, is everyone just trying to score some cheap political points here? <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, it, it's shame on the mayor for sending out a press release on September 11th. I mean, that is a day of remembrance. That is a day that we should honor what happened on that day and remember those folks that perished. Um, she sent out a press release. I decided to wait to respond to it till the next day. Uh, the mayor didn't do her homework on the thing because our endorsed candidate is who the flyer was attacking. Uh, from our research and our intelligence, it was one person who has an axe to grind with Senator Grisani, our Republican candidate, uh, in Buffalo in, in the Erie County area. It's not even a recognized group that was on the flyer. It wasn't printed. It was something that was sent out via email. The mayor was was wanting and, and was really wearing her hat, in my estimation, as the co-chair of the state Democratic Party when she was speaking out about this. Of course, you can't really separate the fact that she is also the mayor of Syracuse. What she told me in at my interview with her was that this has no place anywhere. And, and she felt the need to come out and say, shame on whoever did this, but, but this sort of thing cannot stand and it needs to be tamped down as soon as it comes to light because it had been on social media a lot. What's wrong with saying that? Well, th the mayor and I don't agree on a lot. We agree on two things. First of all, the city of Syracuse is headed for bankruptcy in the next couple of years. And number two, that mailer, that flyer that went out was absolutely disgusting and has no room in the political discourse. So we do agree on those two things. I, I have had a problem with, the, with, uh, with Stephanie being um, the mayor and the co-chair of the Democrat Party because she has a job to do. She has been elected to be the mayor of the city of Syracuse. There's a number of issues coming down the pike that she has to deal with. She has to work with folks on both sides of the aisle. She has to work with Senator John DeFrancisco. She has to work with Congresswoman Burkle, who's in the majority. She has to work with Chairman Ryan McMahon and those in the legislature to get things done for the city. And it's tough for her to wear both hats. She can't do both. So, you know, our state chair called on her to apologize for what she did. I've gone one step further and said she has to give up one, either give up being mayor or give up being the state co-chair. That's, that's not gonna happen. We'll see. It's not going to happen. What do you think the I mean, voters you, you think? You know it's not going to happen. So why? I, I'm just wondering why? Why take it? Why take it to that step? But, it's, it's not unheard of for for a sitting mayor, uh, for an elected leader, to also have a role in in state party politics. Well, That's not uncommon. I, I, I mean, I think back a generation, and I've gone back to like the '90s, late '80s in our party. We have not had an elected official who is co-chair of our party or chair of our party. We have always had a full-time chair. Mm -hmm. That's all they do. And where Stephanie is getting into a, a mix up here is she can't go say that we are the party of hate and then go and say, Senator DeFrancisco, I need $10 million for the city of Syracuse because we're going bankrupt. That, that's where she gets into a problem. So it's one or the other. As folks are sitting down and eating their dinner tonight, uh, you know, thinking about the fact that we have an election coming up, what does this say to them? I mean, do you think that they even want to be hearing uh, folks talk about this stuff? Well, you know, candidates campaign all year round. Uh, the campaign season gets highlighted once the summer's over, once Labor Day is here. And we are in full swing. We have less than 50 days uh, for all our candidates. There's, today is actually primary day. Uh, we, have, we only have a primary in the town of Pompey in Onondaga mm -hmm. County, but there's state primaries all over the state. And that's going to you know, have an impact on who's in state government coming January 1st. All right, a lot for folks to think about tonight. Tom Day, thanks for being here with us. Thank we you. appreciate it. Also, in just a couple